The Digital Scene Show is sponsored by Light Panels, makers of the world-renowned Emmy Award-winning green-friendly LED lighting systems. Check them out at lightpanels.com. Darren, welcome to the Digital Scene Show here at the Hollywood Post Alliance uh, Award Show for 2009. And you are the past president of the ASC. Yes, I'm the recent past president. Recent past president. I guess is what you'd say. And uh, yes, yeah, I spent, uh, I was elected for three terms. And so uh, it's nice to be able to step back now for a little bit. And the current president is Michael Goy, correct? Current president is Michael Goy, great cinematographer and a great president. So what are you doing here at the HPA? I am presenting the um, award for color correction and uh, television commercials and features. Uh, Michael is going to Michael Goy is going to present it with me. The HPA has uh, asked me to present this award. I think since the first HPA awards, so this is kind oh, of so it's kind of fun to 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 do that and see the evolution of these awards. So this is what like the fourth or fifth? I think it started when two thousand five something like yeah, that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, something like yes, that. Yes. Well, let's talk a little bit about cinematography here. Sure. And, and for a lot of the people that that watch our show, they're independent filmmakers, mm -hmm. and you know uh, we call them filmmakers, but really they never touch film. Like, I never right. touch film. So we're more like digital cinematographers, let's, exactly. let, let's yeah. say that. Um, what's your take on, and I know this is a controversial question to ask an ASC member, especially a past president, but an a on digital versus film. What's happening to film? Where do you see film? You know, digital versus film, it's not really controversial. I think that, you know, film has, is, it's, it's evolved. I don't want to sound like, you know, somebody who's only dealt with film, but film has, has a very high standard outstanding it, it's done a lot for the industry it's done a lot for filmmakers uh, digital is great it just needs to keep evolving I think that if you adopt uh, digital too early or you make a decision that's a misinformed then you're you know being a filmmaker, which I, I look at film, the definition of filmmakers is anybody who wants to tell a story visually, really. It's not that you're shooting on film, not that you're shooting on sure. digital. So I, I just want digital to be as good or better than what we have right now. Do and you think it's getting there with, let's say, the red camera, which is shoots at 4K, they're, they're announced the new one, which is 5K? Right. It's not, to, for, for me, as being a, somebody who's creative and trying to do, you know, trying to convey emotional stories uh, visually, it's not necessarily resolution. It's how every color is perceived how reds are perceived, how, what the dynamic range is that you can shoot. So, you know, I, there, could pop, there could be a 10K black and white camera. Does that make your story better? Maybe, maybe not. So I'm looking at it from more of what hits me in the gut. Uh, I think the red camera is fabulous because it, it, it enables uh, a lot of people to have a tool to work with. But that tool does not make does not make you a great filmmaker. What makes you a great filmmaker is what you do with that. And you right. could do you could do a great movie or a great short film or an industrial anything you want to do. You could do that with if if you have the talent. You could do it with any camera, really. But when you're doing it for a big screen, uh, there are a lot of different workflows because. It's not the downfall of digital, it's just that digital is new. And film had to find a way to make it into a business and make it evolve. Uh, so I think digital is, is on its way. I think there's some people that, you know, there's a, definitely a lot of movies and television that have jumped on it and are working with it. But um, there's still going to be a, a, a bit of development, and I think that's good because that's what made film so great is that uh, it kept developing, kept evolving. Sure. Uh, the, the biggest danger is that digital um, imaging stops at a certain level, and you say it's good enough. We, you know, we should never accept good enough. There's, 
there is always better, and we need to keep reaching to make it better because we keep trying to make stories better. So we should try to make images better, and that's what's going to compel the audience. Well, it seems like technology is trying to push itself to to meet that standard of film. Mm -hmm. um, I recently interviewed Rodney Charters, the, oh, yeah. the cinematographer great, of, great of Twenty Four, right? Yeah. And uh, he's definitely a film guy. He shoots film in yeah. in Twenty Four. Although he mentioned that they're trying digital from an economical perspective, right? Um, but he is seem seem seemed very passionate about the new 5D camera, right? Now the 7D and yeah. the Mark I. Um, you know, Did, the, yeah. what's your take on that? Um, I, I think that the... Uh, I, I was excited to hear Canon coming out with, you know, with the 5D that could do high def. What I didn't like about it was that um, that it that it limited you as far as what it could output the file it was creating. If I could get a Canon RAW file no. out of that, that would be beautiful. Um, because I but you, you couldn't store it in that little compact flash drive. Exactly. That's the problem. But but I think that there's ways of having an option with that. You could choose. Okay, I'm going to store that store it on a flash card, or I'm going to output it to a drive. Right. Um, but I do think that that I, I think that that type of camera is going to be pivotal both the Canon and Nikon which is right on the heels there I think that camera is going to be very pivotal those two manufacturers are going to be very pivotal in the next uh, few years to what can be done on the high you know for high quality images uh, it's interesting because I interviewed Tim Smith he's one of the the, the big guys there at Canon mm -hmm. in, in the video in the photography video site and he said they got caught you know by surprise they yeah. they, they put video not really because they were meaning to put video as as let's go after cinematographers right. they just put it because it was a cool thing and then cinematographers picked it up and said wait a minute I can use my real lenses here this is awesome the only drawback was 30p yeah uh, versus 24 but now with the firmware upgrade right. you can do 24 the 7d does 24 yeah I mean part of that firmware upgrade that Canon did I think was at the request of one of the ASC member it was uh, Shane Her Herbert who was doing uh, uh, a project and, sure. want and wanted that um, I, I sort of look at it in reverse because I've had digital video cameras and I was like wow can I get a good still out of it so to have a you know something that's multi-purpose in that respect uh, the one thing that those two companies need to do is be able to support the other companies that are building out the camera so that you could do it, um, you can use it for any size project you want to use it for. I mean, they're, they're, missing, they're missing the boat on sound, they're missing the boat yeah. on time code. I mean, th those are issues. I mean, these are all developmental things. But th but, but but that's version 1.0 of, exactly. of the 5D. Exactly. So you know they're going to get there. Exactly. So. I mean, when you got guys like Rodney Charter saying, yeah. "I'm passionate about this," Rod and he's doing 24. Yeah. I mean, Rodney Charters knows more about digital than probably a lot of cinematographers out there, or a lot of digital cinematographers. And yet Rodney shoots film because he knows so much sure. more. But Rodney is very, he's, he's very versed in the highest technology and, and what's going on. And I think that's what's, you know, that's what's going to drive digital is we have to be able to demand it. And the manufacturers are, you know, if they're smart, they'll start to listen. And the products will be available to everybody, which is great. Definitely. Well, Darren, thank you so much. I appreciate sure. all the wonderful information. And we will see you next year at the ASC Awards. Yep. We'll see you then. Fantastic. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you.